Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to Tip Tuesday. Today I was inspired by Neil in the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, to make a bracelet helper. Now I'd never heard of a bracelet helper before and uh, she posted a really beautiful photo of one that she'd made and a little video demonstrating how it works. So basically it's just a little stick with a little clamp on it that helps you to put on your bracelet. So what you're going to need for this project are your tools, a round form like a sharpie, 18 gauge wire, a variety of beads, and an alligator clip. So I actually had these little alligator clips because many years ago I made these hair clips with them and for this I just used tiger tail and attached it with a crimp and dangled them down. So to get started we're just going to take our wire and stick it through the hole of the alligator clip. I would leave like a couple of inches so you have enough to work with and then you want to kind of bend that in there bring this end down and you really want it to be very very tight so what you're going to do for that is just hold it tightly bring that around bring it in and then wind it around a few times here okay you can just wind it a few times and clip this and then to tighten it up you're just going to take this and just twist it around okay you just twist it careful not to pinch yourself too much okay you want it really really tight okay and then these ends you can actually clip in see they're sticking out so you just pinch them in like that so they're nice and flat and you want this to be very stiff. That's the idea because for the hair clip it's okay if it dangles but for this you really want this to be able to sit out straight and solid. So now what you'll do is take your beads and you can just start putting them on the wire however many beads that you want and I even have like a little fancy bead that I'm going to stick on there too. So you want it to be about seven inches long so when you're getting towards the end depending on how you want to end it you can just do a little loop at the end which is fine or if you want to make it a little more fancy you can do a spiral. So we'll just bend that a bit start turning it around. If you have a cone it's great if you just have a round form that's great too and we'll just clip that and then take our round pliers and just take the end of the wire and just bend it in here. So whatever's your favorite way to make a little spiral. This is how I usually do it. Just make a little cone and then bring it in. So here's the spiral end and make sure that bead is going to stay on there. And here is your bracelet helper. So basically how it works is you just take your bracelet helper, you clip it onto one end of your clasp, the loop end, and then you're going to hold this in your hand and bring the bracelet around. Open up the clasp with one hand. This is my right hand. Just stick it into the loop and that is it. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to join my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, I'll link it up below. It's a group where we share all kinds of our photos of our creations and inspiration for each other. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and unique jewelry. I also send out a monthly newsletter, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook, where I give a list of my supplies and materials and a few tips. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you the next time.